Welcome to AccuWeb Hosting Video Tutorial. Today we will guide you on how to restore a database from MDF file in MS SQL Server from SQL Management Studio. In this video tutorial, we will see how to log in into your MS SQL Server through SQL Server Management Studio. Second one is how to restore a database from MDF file in MS SQL Server from SQL Management Studio. Before we begin the tutorial have a quick look at our contact details for your hosting requirements. You can visit our website at www.accuwebhosting.com. You can raise a chat from the chat option available on our website. You can also contact us on this number. You can send us an email at sales at accuwebhosting.com. Thanks you. Let's begin the tutorial. First, we will see how to log in into your MS SQL Server through SQL Server Management Studio. For that, you have to log in into your Windows Server with Administrator User. Here we have used Windows Server 2012 as a demo. Click on the Windows button located on the status bar. After then click on the search option. Type SQL Server Management Studio in the search field. Once you type in it, you will see SQL Server Management Studio option. Please be informed that here we have used SQL Server Management Studio 17 as an example. Click on it to open SQL Server Management Studio. It may take a few minutes to open it. In the Server Type field, select Database Engine from the drop-down list. In the Server Name field, enter the IP address of your MS SQL Server, coma port number. In the Authentication field, select SQL Server Authentication from the drop-down list. In the Login field, type SA. In the Password field, enter the password of the SA user. You can collect the password of the SA user from your client area. Click on the connect button to log in in your SQL Server database. Congratulations! You are logged into your MS SQL Server database. Let's see how to restore a database from MDF file in MS SQL Server from SQL Management Studio. Before it, here are some prerequisites which should you check before starting the restore process. First one is if the database already exists in your SQL server which you want to restore it, you will have to detach it first, otherwise, you will receive an error. The second one is put the MDF file and LDF file in the same location where MS SQL server store it. If you don't have LDF file, it is okay. You can restore the database from MDF file alone. Let's continue the video. Go to the Object Explorer section and select the server name. After then right click on the databases and select the Attach option and click on it. Once you click on it, an Attach Database Wizard will be open. Click on the Add button. Once click on it, Locate Database File window will be open. Browse the MDF file whose database you want to restore and click on the OK button. Here we have selected demo underscore db underscore data dot MDF file as an example. Here, you can clearly view the MDF and LDF file under the Database Details section. Please be informed that if you would have put LDF in this location before initiating this process then only you can see it here otherwise, you won't see. Click on the OK button to restore the database in SQL Server. Once you click on the OK button, the database will be restored, and you can see it under Databases option. Expand the databases, you can see the database of MDF file which we just attached. That's it.
Let's quickly sum up the context of this video. We seen how to log in into your MSSQL server through Management Studio. Second one is how to restore a database from MDF file in MSSQL server from SQL Management Studio. Hope. This video will be helpful for you. If you like this video, please click on the thumb button. Please click on subscribe button if you want to view such easy to understand technical videos published by AccuWebHosting.com. Thank you for watching.